Teachers, more amazing than Spider-Man, more incredible than Hulk, mightier than Thor, and smarter than Iron Man. Teachers, the mightiest Avenger. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, Dan. Truly, mightiest Avenger, right? Okay, welcome back to the Comics Lounge. Glad to have you back. Hope you really enjoyed all of our videos. If you're brand new to our channel, welcome. We are so happy to have you here. This video is going to be the start of um, a little bit of a series. Not sure how many videos it's going to take. Um, not sure how quickly I'm going to get through this. But I do also want to explain why we got these books. So a lot of them are books that we've just never heard of before. Like I've never heard of DC Bombshells United. And my wife is a huge Wonder Woman fan. So as you can see, Wonder Woman is on the cover, and then there's also Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, um, Supergirl, Batwoman, uh, the female Flash. There's so many characters in this. So this is issue five, and then since this is a, a read-only um, series, I also like to try to save on the um, protection, not to save money, but more just to keep the books together as much as I can. So I do front to back, odd to even. So this is the first book that we got, um, that we were able to find. And we got these at a sale that were a dollar a piece. So each of these books I'm about to show you, we got as back issues at a dollar, mostly from 2015 and before. So this is DC Bombshells United 5, and then also number 6. Then we also were able to pick up number seven. So as you can see, Batwoman on the cover there. Um, and then number eight, also a Batwoman-centered issue, I'm guessing. Um, again, these are just more reading material than anything else. Books that looked really cool, had some really cool covers. Again, another Batwoman cover. Really great artwork. And just thought, hey, let's pick it up. And again, my wife picked out all of these. She thought that they were really great. So we ended up getting 5 through 19. So, And all of these take place in 1945. So right around that time of the bombshell era, um, the women being drawn on planes, all that fun stuff. Um, can't think of the name for that right now. If it comes to me, I'll let you know. Uh, Rosie the Riveter style. And I love that kind of artwork. Um, I love the style. Just this right here. Um, the facial expressions, the um, clothing style, it's just, it's all really cool artwork, especially on those old school planes. So I wanted to kind of show that off as well because this is some really great artwork. These books came out in 2018. So newer books. Again, not a whole lot of value to them, but at the same time, we didn't buy them for the value. bought them for the reading um, material to kind of get into them, see what they were about. It looks like Joker's also in them. So Joker's kind of looks like he's pulling the strings in this picture. And you've got Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batwoman all trying to figure out what Joker's doing. Um, looks like Harley Quinn down there. To and they're all toy versions. Oh, they're toy versions of the women up top. Sorry. So again, great artwork on these. So there's 17, 18, and then this one, since I didn't really have enough um, sleeves, I put 19 in it, also because we didn't have number 20. So that kind of, not something I advise and not something I would do. Um, but again, it's reading material. I'm not into these books for the value of them. I'm into it for the reading. So these are Batman Creatures of the Night, again, Picked all these up for a dollar as back issue sales. Sorry, I got a big shadow on my face. Um, great books, truly. They, I haven't read them yet, but at the same time, um, again, my wife picked these up. Thought they might be cool, and they might be like gifts for someone, because we know people who love Batman. 
And then my wife also picked up Catwoman number one annual. So again, some more amazing artwork. She's a huge DC women fan. Catwoman two and three, five and six. I kind of feel like an eye doctor right now. Two or three, four or five, seven or eight, seven or eight. <laughs> but anyways, and actually as I was packaging them together, trying to think hmm, what goes together, that's actually what came to my mind. <laughs> Just the way my brain works. Um, also got some great Wonder Woman Rebirth um, and just Wonder Woman in general. So this is Wonder Woman 28. This is one that I loved for the cover and my wife kind of picked up for the reading. Uh, Wonder Woman 610. And then we also got 601 and 602. Sorry, I'm trying to do this without having a giant glare on this and also not giant, having a giant shadow on my face. <laughs> um, but again, 601, 602, 601, 602. Again, amazing covers. 611, I do not like this cover only because of, as you can probably tell, that movie sucked, not for the acting, but for the writing. And then 612. So 611 and 612 were also part of that lot. Um, and then 613 and 614. Again, really cool covers. Not a huge fan of the artistry on some of these Wonder Womans. I just feel as though it doesn't really remind me of Wonder Woman. Um, it's also interesting how it changed up over the years. Obviously, the artistry changes over the years, but it's just the weird. It's weird how the different takes on the same character in very short amounts of time. So this is Wonder Woman Rebirth number one. I love that artwork on there. Again, that's kind of more your classic looking Wonder Woman. Then you've got Wonder Woman 44, 33 from the same print era. Two really cool covers. Try to get the glare off of there. And then Wonder Woman Rebirth 13 and 14. And this is one of those artworks that I just, it doesn't look like that typical Wonder Woman. The Rebirth Wonder Woman was a very interesting looking facial features Wonder Woman. With all that being said, keep it casual, my friends. We will see you next time on the Comics Lounge.